It's in my family. It's in my blood. For a hundred years, we've been firing them up. Welcome back to Fired Up Garage. We're here tonight with the uh, 72 Bronco Project. You've probably seen some of the videos on this one. We pulled this one off of a farm a few years back. Uh, ended up rebuilding the top end of the engine, putting new heads on it, uh, all that kind of stuff. And uh, runs good now. We ended up uh, driving it around. Drives good as well. New brake system, new fuel system, all that kind of stuff. Pretty much everything mechanical we've been getting to. And uh, it's a good driver now. But the problem was it was still running a little bit hot. About 225 degrees on the road, which is too hot for a 302 like this. And uh, so I wanted to get to the root of that problem. So I had a new aluminum radiator I was going to put in there. And in the process, doing the belts, uh, doing the uh, hoses and all that kind of stuff, thermostat. And I uh, was going to put on a water pump. The water pump looked pretty good from the front. I mean, this engine only had 3,000 miles on it when we actually took this off of the farm there. And so it looked pretty good. looked like they had replaced it. And so I was just mostly replacing the water pump uh, because I had the radiator out and the fan out and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I didn't think that that was going to make much of a difference. But in fact, the water pump was the root of our problem. As you can see here, you've got the inlet and the outlet ports on it where the water is flowing. And uh, we've got a little bit of blockage on this side, but this one completely blocked here at the water pump. And also on the block, it was completely blocked by corrosion. So this engine was not flowing any water at all if barely any maybe just through uh some of the little tiny cracks there in the corrosion but probably not flowing any water at all so it's actually surprising that it was running at 225 and not overheating the whole time but uh this is great we ended up solving this problem put the new water pump on it and i got the new radiator and everything on it now i can sit it uh, here in the driveway and let it idle it'll idle at 180 degrees in the driveway for as long as i want to let it idle so problem solved if you've got a 302 and it's running hot, especially if it sat for a while, this is definitely a problem caused by how long this truck sat. This truck sat since uh, 1996, so over 20 years it sat there. And even though the engine only had 3,000 miles on it from the rebuild, just from sitting, we got all this corrosion. Also, when we redid the heads, we had similar corrosion in the uh, water ports up top. So we ended up vacuuming all that out flushing the block out, and uh, now we should be good to go eliminating that corrosion. But if you've had a vehicle that sat for a while, you probably want to go ahead and pull the water pump off. Uh, you may want to pull the heads off like we did too, and just clean out all that corrosion so that it doesn't end up in your radiator, or so that it doesn't, in this case, end up just completely blocking the flow of water to your engine. So problem solved, the Bronco is now running cool. Thanks for being here with us tonight. Keep firing them up.